Alright guys, I am Chris Kelly of HeadlockTalents.com and first thing I must apologize for is the logo for the screen of, of this show. Um, I'm not really a graphic guy. Um, so all I did, I, I kind of commandeered the logo that someone made me and then just put the word radio under it. So yeah, just wanted to say sorry for that. Um, yeah, what I'm going to do is, you know, I'm going to be here for about 10, 15 minutes tops. Talk about the week of wrestling. Uh, I'm recording this Monday morning, so I might talk about Raw. I don't know. Um, I think the biggest thing this week was Total Divas. Now, we know this show has been fully scripted. There's nothing, you know, actually real about it. And it's kind of, you know, blown up social media uh, because you've had every single, or quite a few Divas chiming in. And uh, at first I thought, you know what, well, I'm not going to watch it. I think it'll be a pile of rubbish. And I sat there, I was like, you know, it's okay. It's okay. And as, it got, as I went along, it got more and more addicting. And that's because, as I said before, it's totally scripted. Um, but of course, the show uh, features or is f- featured around um, the Bella Twins, Fungodactyls, Jojo, and Eve Marie. And this episode was just before Mania, leading up to Mania, and, and uh, you saw you saw everyone who, who everyone's dating. And uh, I don't know. Um, I think I, I think the star of the show so far is probably, uh, Eve Marie. Because she, she's the only one that you know stands out so far, and even though her segment on Raw last week was epically failed in so many ways, uh, she actually stood out, and I liked I liked her role in it. Um, now the Be- the Bellas have you know have her history, a pan history of being quite catty towards fellow divas, and we saw this on on the show. And uh, if you want to look at an example, just look over on Twitter, we have former WWE diva Maria Canales talking about the Bellas and her tweets, you know, weren't that complimentary. And a few weeks back, she said that the Bellas had actually blocked her returning to the company. And, you know, I met Maria. She is one of the sweetest girls you'll ever meet. Um, and you know what? She's fiery. She has her opinions. And if it's true that she has blocked her return, I mean, this isn't the first time that the Bellas have blocked someone returning or joining the company. Uh, Rima Fakie, who was, of course, Miss USA on Tough Enough as well, Last year, she was off a contract, and they got pulled because the Bella Twins complained to management, got it pulled, etc., etc. Um, but I don't know. I mean, this is what I'm, I'm going to put to you guys. Is this thing with Maria a giant work? Do you think this will lead to her returning down the line? As you know, you know, not not on this land, but I mean later on, they you know subtly mention it because of course they are running the Total Divas next to Raw, and the storyline between Daniel Bryan and Cena will also intertwine between Total Divas and I think the plan was to have um, Nikki and Brie in the corner of, you know, uh, John and uh, Daniel Bryan at SummerSlam. Um, but would you guys like to see Maria Clear to return to WWE? And would you like to see her bring Mike Bennett? Because of course Mike Bennett has been rumoured to be joining WWE for a long time now. You know, it's been held up for God knows why. So if you guys would like to see Maria... Would you bring her alone? Would you bring her with Mike Minute? What would you do? Also, I'd like to get your guys' you know, opinion on the actual show. Now, over on .dot com, they had a an, they had like a poll, and right now I don't have it up, but they were asking which former WWE divas would you guys like to see return to the company, and the list was like made up of all the three names. We had Stacey Kimler, Kelly Kelly, Melina, Trish Stratus, Lita, Beth Phoenix, Victoria, Michelle McCool, Troy Wilson, Eve, and Maxine. And the name missing from that, who I would like to receive a return. Well, there's two, actually. Maria and Karma. But, I mean, out of that list, Stacey Kimber, Kelly Kelly, Melina, Trish, Lita, Beth Phoenix, Victoria, Michelle McCall, Tori Wilson, Eve, and Maxine. Out of those, which guys, which all girls, sorry, <laughs> would you like to see return to the company? Um, and, you know, back to Total Divas, there's a bit where they had uh, Eve Marie ha- have to change her hair colour because she was meant to be, because she had dark hair and they thought she looked like a Bella and I believe it was Sophie, Sophie Cortez um, Evelis Velez who on Twitter said, oh she said before an interview um, that she actually wanted to dye her hair black so she actually fixed, fit, fitted, fitted the gimmick of being an diva, you know, black hair, black everything, I love age um, but she was rejected uh, and I mean, it was Caswell Caz got released a few years back because he didn't want to cut his hair so, you know, like I said, this show is totally, totally scripted, but it's also really, really fun at the same time. Um, now, 
the worst we have on, on, on the news of the week. Now, like I said, Maria's been post, uh, posting stuff on Twitter. Um, I'm going to flip to TNA for a bit. And TNA, they've been doing this August 1st warning YouTube thing. And it's basically a guy saying he doesn't work for TNA, he doesn't work for Spike TV, but he is coming to TNA on the 1st. The problem with that is TNA is, of course, pre-recorded. So no matter who it is, we will know an hour before it airs. And people will make up their minds on if they want to watch it before beforehand. And I said since day one, since TNA have been recording, like you know, on tape, um, live show is just much better product-wise for the for, for TNA. Um, but I mean, who do you guys think is going to be? Of course, names like Adam Pearce have been linked because this the silhouette looks like him. Bob Holly, you know, on Twitter he said that he doesn't do a bit. Um, they released a second one a minute ago, and it was basically saying, "I'm coming, I'm coming, coming, but I'm not Dave Batista." So who do you guys think this actually is going to be? Who, okay, okay, but question, who do you want it to be? I mean, names. Po- post it below. Um, what else have in TNA? Uh, over on Facebook, um, Hulk Hogan. Now, you know, Hulk Hogan, people slander Hulk Hogan for being washed up, etc., etc. Um, but he actually did something really cool, I think. He posted a comment on Facebook saying that he wanted fans to go check out the return of Jesse Sorensen into the ring, because Jesse Sorensen was released from TNA last week, um, in, you know, in the cut costing, uh, cut costing procedure. Um, and from what I understand, because I met Jesse Sorensen, Jesse Sorensen, a great guy, he basically TNA refused to clear him. TNA refused to clear him to the ring. Um, so I mean, that's that's cool, very cool by Hulk Hogan. He didn't have to do that. He could be a douchebag and say, nope. I'm not, I'm not giving you the saying. But I mean, Hulk Hogan doing the, the smart thing and doing the cool thing, I, I'd say, and actually giving Jesse Sorensen, you know, his, uh, his his props. Another thing would have to be TNA. Ask Dixie. Uh, now, just go on Twitter, type in the hashtag Ask Dixie. Now, Dixie was going to do this thing where week in, week out, she'd ask questions and, uh, you know, she'd hope she'd get, you know, wrestling questions. This didn't happen. Um... <laughs> People literally took the piss, and they were asking any kind of question you can think of, like literally from wrestling to The Walking Dead to zombie games to, you know, Jesus. There was literally every kind of subject, and at one point it was trending worldwide. Um, and Dixie actually had to issue a statement um, because a few fans were being pretty harsh about her and about her family and. Um, she was basically saying that in, in, in the last 10 years, TNA has moved forward to become a worldwide global company. And yet I know worldwide is the same as global. Um, and she kind of, she, she said a lot of things without saying much. And, um, you know, she, people were, you know, when, when you go down to the serious question, people were asking about why TNA were, were releasing so many talents. And she, she basically said that in every company you have to, cut cost at some point and it was just moving forward um but she didn't really answer individual questions you know about so and so and because like so and so and apparently it was guaranteed a job for life within tna and tna brought his promise to him um but do you really expect dixie to answer these questions on twitter to be fair she is um usually quite quite good at twitter questions she, she usually dm you um but the fans, you know, they kind of exploded in a bad way. It was funny, but bad at the same time. Um, so, yeah, if you guys have a question asked by Dixie, answered by Dixie Carter, just hashtag ask Dixie at TNA Dixie. Um, and as long as you know it's a wrestling question, she will probably end up asking it. Um, now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I think I will review tonight's Raw, of course. Tonight's Raw was pre taped. And the show started off with Vince McMahon. Vince and Brad Maddox are in the ring and they start to talk about last week and when Daniel Bryan ran the gauntlet. Just before Vince starts to badmouth Daniel Bryan, out comes Daniel Bryan and Vince is like, you know, Cena didn't pick you because you're the best. Vince, uh, Vince says that Cena's a liar and he doesn't, he doesn't want to see Cena walk out the champion at SummerSlam. So, it's kind of, so basically, he doesn't know who wants to be champion. And, uh, I don't know, what do you guys, do you guys think we've seen enough Cena? Do you think it's time for Daniel Bryan to win the strap? How would you book this, etc., etc.? So post below your fantasy, your fantasy uh, booking scenarios and whatnot. Um, Vince then goes on to say that he doesn't believe Daniel Bryan can defeat 
Kane tonight, of course. Kane and tonight was hosting a Brian, Team Hell No. First time that Kane's been seen since he got taken out by the Wyatt family. Next up, we have the Shield versus the Usos and Mark Henry. Mark Henry keeps changing between face and heel. Um, now, in case you didn't know, when this actually went down a few weeks back, Big Show was meant to make the save. Big Show was meant to come out and make the save, so we would get the Shield versus Big Show and Mark Henry, but Big Show's still injured. So they, they sent out the Usos. Of course, the Usos are you know are involved in the Total Divas, so they kind of have to be pushed slightly. Um, the winner of the, of the match is the Shield. Uh, after after this, Mark Henry takes out the Shield, and then the Shield escape. Next up, we have Mr. RVD versus Fan Dan. Go, breathe, breathe the A's. Um, now I found both guys. I met RVD a few times in TNA and FWE, um, and I like the idea of what he's doing. He's kind of doing what Jericho's doing. He's coming back to put up the young guys, try and find with. Uh, RVD wins his match after Fan Dan Go walks out. Next up, we have Caitlyn versus AJ. Um, quick match where Caitlyn wins via the spear. After the match, out comes Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler basically says that not, uh, he wants to take on Big E now. So we get that match. Um, this match ends you know, pretty, pretty quickly when AJ jumps in the ring and jumps on the back of, a, uh, of Dolph. So DQ. Um, next up, we have Christian versus Alberto Del Rio. The next match is a non-title match and a good match. And Christian proves why, in my opinion, he's one of the best wrestlers on the roster today, as he beats uh, Del Rio with a roll-up. Um, next up, Wade Barrett, Cody Rhodes, once again, really quick match. Cody Rhodes wins via the crossroads. Ne- ne- next up, we have Kane versus Daniel Bryan. Um, Daniel Bryan gets a quick pin after countering the choke slam. This then leads to the White family coming out. The White family take out Kane, and the, uh, the rest is like, "You think you are the favorite child of the demon? In fact, you're not. And be careful who you say, say that to." Um, next up, we have Brie versus Brie Bella versus Natalia. Um, Brie Bella wins. Um, you could say she has the right stroke backstage. I guess. Um, yeah, it happened. Uh, Night Night Heart, you know, she's been screwed week in week out by this company, and she's still she's still there, you know. I I give her full credit. I mean, go watch Total Divas. She of that show is the star. Um, next up we have Curtis Axel uh, with Paul Heyman taking our, on our truth. Um, Kurt Angle with Curtis Axel, not Kurt Angle. Curtis Axel wins the match. Uh, after the match, CM Punk runs out and attacks Axel. Um, the main event of tonight is Ryback versus John Cena. Um, Cena wins. Um, then after, after, after the match, out comes Daniel Bryan and he and um, Cena then celebrate as a show goes off the air. Um, good show, I'd say. Really, really good, good, good show. Considering you know they filmed two episodes of Raw in the space of two days. Um, so yeah, I, I say it's quite, quite a good, uh, quite, quite a good show. Um, like I say, guys, you post your opinions below. Um, I love to, I love any kind of feedback. Um, now, honestly, I can't, think, I can't think of else what to uh, talk about tonight. So, if you guys want to write below something else to talk about give me a subject give me just anything um feedback apart from you know my stutter because i've been for that before um so yeah any kind of feedback if you want to follow me on twitter it's at h2h credit h2h c r e double l y or at h2h h2h online i will follow you back on h2h online um of course, that's my that's my site, Headlocks. Um, so like I say, anything you, you want to see or hear, let me know. In terms of more audio, if it, I might do one at some point this week or next week. Um, I've got a few things lined up. I'm going to be doing a conference call with Bobby Roode from TNA. Got a few things lined up with FWE down the line. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you updated. Like I say, follow me. Check check out H2H online on Twitter. Headlocks.com. Headlocks to headlines.com. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you for listening. I'll be back very soon. Thank you.